So in the last video, we looked at announcements. We're now going to look at how we can post a question on our wall. So let's click on the plus button here. And as a teacher, I'm going to post a question. So my question will be, and then I'm going to post a description. And then I'm going to give it a due date. So I'm going to, I'm going to give it a date and time. So I'm going to give it a due date of tomorrow and time it needs to be in by 11 a.m. tomorrow morning and then save. I want to add a YouTube video, but equally I could add a Google Drive option. I can attach something or I can share a link to a website. So let's do a video. I have a video here that I want to attach. We go to the URL, paste it in, and then add this video. As with announcement, we can save this as a draft and then post it later. But for the purpose of this, I want to post now. So this window is really useful. Do we want the students to see everybody else's reply? Or do we want them to be able to edit their answers? So I don't want them to see each other's reply, but I do want them to edit their answers. And then we're going to ask. So here is my question. And over here, it tells me how many students have actually completed the question. Now, I have two students that are currently in my classroom. There are only two people in my classroom at the moment. Two people have not done it and zero have done it. So let's go and do the question that I've asked. So let's go back to one of my student views. So this is a student view. Let's refresh the page. And here you can see, here is the question. So let's answer the question. So here is my answer. In addition, what I can do as a student, I can post something to the whole class so they can see it. So I may want to ask some of my fellow students, what do you think? So I can submit my question and I can submit my post. And because as a teacher, we created the question and didn't want all the students seeing each other's answers, if I go to another student now, which is student three, and I can refresh this by also clicking show here, here is my Question, I can't see the answer of the other students, but I can see the comment that the other student made. So this student can fill in the answer here and then submit that. Now let's go back to the teacher view. Here is the teacher view. I can now see that one student has not completed it and one student has. So if I want to see who's not done it, I can click on not done and that will bring up Atec Edu 3 has not completed the question. So let's go back. Let's see who has. I can click on done. I can see that Atec Edu 2 has completed the question and there is the answer. So I can click on Atec Edu 2. I can give Atec Edu 2 a grade if I want to. And then I can return that comment. Let's return it. If I click Atec Edu 2, I can click add a private comment to this. Now let's go back to the student view. Here is Atec Edu 2. Here is my student. If we go into the question, we can see it's been returned. There is the score. There is one comment from the teacher and there is the comment. If I go to three, and equally the student can then reply to the comment and then post. Now if we go back to the teacher, Let's go back to our question and we can see now the reply from the student. The question tool is a really great tool. It doesn't allow for submissions, but it allows you as a teacher to ask learning questions. 